In early 2015, the Islamic State released a five-minute video calling for the death of the people of the cross. To prove their point, a group of mass terrorists appeared in the video, leading 21 prisoners along the Libyan coast, forced them to their knees, then beheaded them. Who were these people of the cross? What crime had they committed? All but one of them were cops, members of the Coptic Orthodox Church. Their crime was belief in Jesus Christ, and they paid for it with their lives. So who are the Copts? Copts are the indigenous people of Egypt, descendants of the pharaohs who have been living in this land since the beginning of recorded history. Copts also make up the largest single Christian community in the Middle East. The Coptic Church is one of the world's oldest Christian churches, founded, according to tradition, by the Apostle Mark who brought Christianity to Egypt between 42 and 62 AD. That means the earliest Coptic Christians could have existed just 10 years after the crucifixion of Christ. Most Christians in the West are unaware just how much their faith has been influenced by the Coptic Church. The seminaries of Egypt were among the most important centers of early Christian learning, and some of history's greatest theologians passed through the Coptic school of Alexandria. The global monastic movement, which gave up worldly goods for the pursuit of spiritual life, had its start in the remote fringes of the Egyptian desert. Many Christians are also unaware that Copts have faced severe persecution throughout history, preserving their faith against all odds for 2,000 years. Today, that persecution is as severe as it's ever been. Egypt is ranked 16th on the world watch list for religious persecution. Copts face social and legal discrimination, living as second-class citizens in their own homeland, and in recent years have endured horrific terror attacks at the hands of violent Islamists. Cops aren't just found in Egypt. The global Coptic community is growing every year as cops flee troubled areas set up lives outside the country. Today, you can find cops across the United States and Europe. They may be Academy Award winners or doctors or your neighbor next door. The Philos Project is launching a new campaign to highlight the history, the culture, the faith, and the current plight of the Coptic community. In doing so, we hope to show the world why the cops matter and why we should be standing alongside them in this hour of need. Go to our website, philosproject.org backslash cops to find out how you can get involved.